Hello, my dear warriors. Welcome aboard to the Anakarmi Neat English channel, and this is your captain Shreyas, your physics educator. Today, I have a really good video for all of you. So stay tuned till the end because it's very difficult and rare to find these kind of videos where I'm not only going to give you the chapter weightage. You might have probably seen that before, but in a very different way. Number one, number two, I'm also going to give you the topic order because. If you just do chapter 1 2 3 4 sequentially that's not the right thing to do there is a peculiar way by which effectively you can complete many chapters and you will also get more marks also why this video is important is because if you study 50% of the syllabus does not mean you will get 50% marks but with the right strategy with the right chapters which i will tell you you will be able to get more marks maybe 70 to 80% by studying even 50% of the syllabus so the order the weightage the manner in which you study the chapters the strategy that you apply for completing the syllabus is very important because right now you are in the syllabus completion phase at least till november to december so let's hear out all the important strategies so stay tuned in the video as well as on the channel by subscribing and please please do me a favor by smashing the like button because it takes a lot of effort this might be a quick short video but trust me it takes a lot of effort to make these uh, you know amazing content and get this for all of you so first of all starting off with the weightage this beautiful pie chart tells you one of the most important units not chapters a unit as a whole is obviously mechanics and electricity magnetism so mechanics involves everything right from you know your vectors kinematics to your newton's laws and uh, rigid body mechanics work power energy circular motion all these things and electricity magnetism will include electrostatics magnetism emi ac all these major chapters so they cover majority of the chunk of your neat physics you know uh, paper weightage not the syllabus wise this is the paper weightage so even if you do just these two units rest assured you will be securing more than 100 to 110 marks just these two units remember that then the next major chunk is coming from modern physics if you do those three units 100% you will be scoring about 120 130 plus then the remaining majority units are optics and then you have heat shm waves fluids all those are small small or little bit less weightage topics so this is very important you should know what should be given priority and if you are wasting time on some things like fluids and thermo but mechanics is still left out or electromagnetism is still left out then you are doing definitely something wrong now having said that just to tell you how many questions came from each and every chapter i've just put it up on the slide see this is not very important because this changes year over year if uh, this year it, there were two questions from let's say laws of motion next year it could be three or one so accordingly percentage wise it might vary a lot but what is important is you know a tentative idea of you know where you get more questions from or where the chances are very less for the questions to come from like you can see chapters like motion in a straight line right or even gravitation laws of motion motion in a plane these chapters every time you will get more than one questions or even mechanical properties of fluids you get more than one questions same way over here charges and fields potential your current electricity moving charges and magnetism ray optics em waves and semiconductors and even your some part of modern physics you will see more than one questions are asked in every need paper now having said this please remember i am again giving you the disclaimer this can change by plus minus uh, you know two questions every year now what is important is what order you should complete the topics so please take a screenshot of this this is one of the most important slides of today's video so you start your syllabus even if you are starting from scratch you start your syllabus from vectors always because that is needed then go to kinematics laws of motion work power energies circular motion center of mass collision rotation ray optics electrostatics capacitor current electricity and gravitation most of mechanics is done and some part of electromagnetism is also done this will easily give you close to 80 to 90 marks at least over here then when you go over here 
Do you go to magnetism, electromagnetic induction, SHM, waves on a string, sound, alternating current, then go to modern physics, then semiconductors, electronic devices, fluids, thermal physics, heat transfer, KDG, and then units and dimensions. If you follow this order, not only is this found out to be very effective because most of my past year students have used this order under my guidance and they have secured 170 plus in the neat physics. Even if you are partially uh, you know done with the syllabus or you are halfway or more than halfway through the syllabus just put a tick mark on which all topics have, have been done if some things have been left out maybe you can cover up all those topics or chapters in order so this is a very very important slide of covering all the chapters in order in the right priority and the things which are in green or of high weightage very important the things which are in yellow might be important but not so many questions are asked every year that's what the usual trend is so that's why the color coding now how do you exactly complete the syllabus so remember uh, it can vary from student to student which one is difficult which one is uh, you know lengthy for you sometimes it might happen that a chapter is very easy for you but for other student it is very difficult or very lengthy so that's why this is a very subjective slide but once you know this chapter or this topic is lengthy or difficult you can follow this order it will guaranteedly help you start off with high weightage difficult and lengthy chapters always never pick the easy ones right now see in exam it is quite opposite you always pick the easy questions first but while completing the syllabus first do the difficult ones because in the end you won't have enough time left you might probably skip many difficult concepts or overlooking many aspects of the you know chapters then go to high weightage easy or short chapters but high weightage after completing those chapters go to low weightage and easy and short chapters these three will easily give you all right these three units will easily give you anywhere between 130 to 150 plus marks guaranteedly and after doing these then go to low weightage or difficult lengthy chapters so that will give you the remaining 20 30 marks here and there so that completes your entire syllabus so this is the right order of completing the syllabus keep that in mind now if you are a class 12 student obviously class 12 syllabus should be your utmost priority because your board exams will be around the corner but simultaneously keep in mind slowly steadily maybe you can dedicate a day or maybe one or two hours every day slowly complete the 11th standard backlogs or keep doing the revision if you postpone it for the end, if you think that after the board exams, I will prepare for 11th, it is not going to work out. You will lose 50% of the marks. So don't do that. Simultaneously, you should do 11th. If you're a dropper, then you don't even have to worry about board examinations. You should focus equally on 11th and 12th standard syllabus. After doing the syllabus, be it NCRT or be it your theory reference book, you have to go to NCRT based questions, but neat pattern. So the syllabus is defined. You should focus on the neat pattern questions based out of the syllabus, then go to PYQs and then go for short notes or formula, mind maps, whatever sheets you want to make. Always note making and formula sheets should come towards the end. Once you have a good grip of the chapter after PYQs, never start reading and then making notes. No, that is not going to work out. Notes always comes at the end. Once you have a strong hold on that chapter. So this is the right way of completing the chapters. So now that you have a very good idea of what are the important topics, how to cover them, how to cover in general the complete syllabus right from high weightage, important, low weightage, difficult, and then what should be the strategy for droppers and what should be the strategy for 12th. You should implement this right from now. Don't wait. And if you have already done most of the syllabus, then continue with the same momentum and in fact, even gather more pace using the remaining topics order completion. All right. I hope you found this video very useful. Please share it with your friend circle. Please share it with your batchmates because there might be many people who are right now depressed or who are really clueless on how to complete the syllabus and do me a favor by smashing the like button so that others too benefit from this video thank you so much this is captain shreya signing off hasta la vista